It's so funny, like some of the paintings kind of make themselves in a way. Then a lot of them, there's a deep struggle that happens at some point in it. So it's almost like each one is a, is a, is a personal battle. I'm a figurative painter. I make large scale paintings. I also make um, ink and gouache drawings on paper. And they are about human experience. I was born and raised in Birmingham, Alabama. My parents put me in art classes when I was about five years old. I started making oil paintings when I was in junior high school. When I graduated uh, in 1990, I went to um, the Art of Chicago. I come from a really, really close family. My family has a lot of artists in them. My brother's a musician, so got, we've got these kind of two things going on in my family. We have the music people and then we have the visual arts people and we were always doing creative things and always using our imagination and my dad is a painter, his brother is a photographer and my great uncle was an artist in New York. He was this great mysterious figure that I didn't know really well growing up but came to know well when I got older. All of them influenced me greatly. I mean my dad as a kid watching my dad work in his studio and now I have my own two kids. It's really important to me for them to to grow up thinking about art and thinking about creativity and thinking about ways to live your life and how you affect the world. For me, art making is a lot about just problem solving and the challenge of problem solving on, on a two-dimensional surface. My work focuses a lot on um, ordinary human experiences and I'm really interested in repetitive activity, these kind of very mundane things that we do all the time that we don't necessarily think about. People getting in and out of bed or taking a walk or interacting with each other in a really kind of basic way or petting their dog or getting in and out of a shower. So all of those things um, are like these daily rituals. I have to say, I, I, I love to paint. So every time I'm starting a new painting, I am really excited. I use repetition a lot. I like to draw an image many, many times. It's like I always want to feel like I am exploring something new. New is something that I've maybe never seen before or seeing something um, in a different way. And sometimes it's really difficult psychologically because you leave the studio some days feeling completely defeated and then other days you leave completely elated. If I can just kind of break through maybe a pattern and see something fresh for the first time. I think it's a difficult thing for artists to spend a lifetime making their work. It's a huge commitment and you have to sacrifice a lot for it. My heroes are artists that just continue to spend their lives making work and always growing and always pushing and despite how difficult it is. I think that's all any artist wants is just to be able to make their work. I want to make it for people to look at and create dialogue and um, to have some sort of presence. Having the freedom and the courage to say something that you want to say, to express something about my unique vision of the world.